As we celebrate Black History Month, we want to take you inside a local build building that has been getting results in our community for nearly 60 years. It is not just any building. It is Florida's first Black-owned bank. And over the decades, it has become a symbol of Orlando's Washington Shores neighborhood. Good morning. <laughs> For retired Orlando police officer Kevin Barnes, seeing these familiar faces is like reuniting with family. How you doing? Good to see you. His roots are deep here, his parents becoming just the third customers of what was once called the Washington Shores Savings and Loan back in 1963. He came here as a child to deposit birthday checks. They did it manual then. You just had like a stamp, the dates and everything, boom, and give you your balance of how much you have in there account and I looked at that bank book and I was like, whoa. <laughs> we recently had the chance to sit down with some lifelong customers of the bank, the first black owned savings and loan in Florida. This is my family and it's very important. I've always believed in customer service. Donna Walden's dad served on the board. Her parents opened an account for her back in 1964 when she was just six months old. And when I come in, you know, I introduce myself literally like today. Hey, hey, you know, I'm Miss Walden. Um, this is my bank. W yes. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to my bank. Former Orlando City Commissioner Samuel Ings has been banking here since the 70s. Oh, yeah. I'm walking in history <laughs> every time I come, even with the renovations. As the surrounding community has evolved, he says this bank has been a mainstay. That's what's really crucial to me is because they do see a, a future that's solid for the community. Good afternoon. There wasn't very much uh, lending for this and surrounding communities. Um, and that was one of the reasons that the founders opened the, uh, this location. Known as the Goldwyn Branch, the bank has changed names over the years. Most recently, Axiom Bank took over, investing one and a half million dollars to upgrade the historic building while keeping its retro touches. A lot of history has been here at this location um, and we wanted to keep some of that history here. The original floors, beams, and iconic roof line are still intact. The familiar stones that used to grace the facade will eventually be repurposed for the landscaping. When I walked in, I literally stood in the corner and I was like, wow, so, so deserving. So deserving for an institution that has been getting results for nearly 60 years and to this day remains the only bank operating in Washington Shores. Very seldom do I come in here and I don't bump into someone that I don't know. Absolutely. And then you end up going down memory lane and yes. you hang out for a while. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always been so. good times, mm -hmm. always. I love that it is the meeting place for everyone, the gathering spot, the place that everyone in the community knows. It is, and when you think about it, so many things come and go in our community. That bank has been there for 60 years, and the fact that it's the only one in Washington yeah. Shores, so important to have that there. It is their cheers. Everyone knows your name when you walk right? in Right, and they yeah. told me when they were taking some of the stones off of the building, some people were coming by wanting to take them home and put them in their yard <laughs> as a little keepsake. So there are just a few finishing touches left for that branch. There's an official reopening plan for for March 7th when several city officials are expected to be there. But great to see it continuing to serve our community and it's an important piece of history it there. It is so needed. The first black owned bank in the state. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And we want you to join News 6 tomorrow night as we showcase community leaders, business owners and others whose stories are rooted right here in Central Florida. It starts at 7 right here on News 6 and click Orlando.